Hello again, Fabio here. Today, we are going to disassemble a Rolex GMT 16710 and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, we're a little bit behind with the workload, so I'm gonna make this video quick and I think you guys will probably appreciate that. So what I'm gonna do is disassemble the entire watch, put it into pre-clean. When it comes out of the pre-clean cycle, I'm going to peg all the jewels, uh, check all the parts, replace anything that needs to replace, and I'll do the overhaul then. But this video will just be of me disassembling the watch quickly. So hope you enjoy. If you like the video, like and subscribe. If you've already been watching my videos, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or ask any questions, but we're just going to get right to it. Okay, now, um, first things first here, I'm going to take off the auto module, but before I do that, I had to get the camera all focused and I just wanted to show you, uh, what, what we're working with here. Here's the watch. You can see uh, the dial's a little damaged, so maybe their moisture got into the watch. And I guess it's just not running too well for the customer, so. And you can see the automat module's running a little funny. Actually, and I didn't notice this because this is a sapphire crystal but this actually isn't a 16710 watch if it has the 30 35 movement let's see that 3085 movement yeah 30 caliber huh so that would make this watch 16760 which actually makes it a fat lady. Uh, probably uh, 1987, around that time of year watch. Uh, the case is a little bit thicker because this movement has kind of a thicker, it has more going on on the dial side. So this case was actually, um, thick like a Submariner and not as thin as a regular GMT, but just a little bit, you can't really notice it, but I always like these watches because that would be my birth year watch. Um, anyway, so that's interesting, cool. So, but nonetheless, we're still just disassembling this watch. <laughs> always upside down, huh? That's cool. All right, so let's do it. Show you how I do it. Going to You know, I'm gonna move the camera over here. You could probably see it better. So my hands won't, won't be in the way. There we go. That'll be better for you. I use this hand to hold the watch down and you know, you, you're gonna have a good time watching the video. Not that these videos are ultra exciting anyways, but I'm doing the work, so I might as well film it. So 
So I pulled the auto module off, took the rotor axle pinion off, took the rotor axle clip off. Now the rotor axle's off. Now you have uh, the whole winding mechanism for the auto module. Uh, the reversers and the uh, ratchet wheel or the driving wheel. We're gonna do this quick. I wanna see how fast I can do it. Hopefully without um, losing any of the parts. And hopefully without uh, dropping any parts on the floor, then you gotta get into the watchmaker's position on all fours. So there we go, auto module completely disassembled. Now uh, we have the base caliber. What I'm gonna do, put it in setting position. I'm going to press the detent and pull the stem out. Then what I do is take the case screws Unlock the case screws, rotate the case so that the screws are lined up with the tube and this cutaway. Pad on top, flip it. Take the case off. And I got the case off. Case back side. Take the stem. Stem back in. I'm going to take a look dial side now, see what we're working with because uh, now I'm going to take the hands off. So I want to see what the division of the hands looks like. Wait for that second hand to go all the way around. Got them all lined up. Uh, check the divisions and I'll show you. So that's good. All four hands stacked up. Whatever. I gotta pull them all off now. So I'll show you how I do that. And hopefully, let's see. Seconds hand. Minute hand. 24 hour hand, hour hand, boom, all the hands are off. Put those away. I'm going to take Dial screws off, take the dial off, set it aside, dial screws back in, so don't fall out on the cleaning machine. Take the uh, 24 hour wheel off, 
So that's the dial washer there. That there. Now we have the date disc. Okay, remove the date disc. Has a little clip. Rotate the clip. And what I do to get it off, I just use Rodico. Pull it off like that. Dial is stored. So is the date disc. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, now I'm gonna wanna keep the dial side separated from the movement side with this watch, just because uh, movement side is a little different than the uh, different screws you wanna keep track of for um, movement side. It's a little taller on the dial side On 3085. But these watches are cool. There's less of them. I don't know why. Um, they don't go for as much as. They don't really go for more. That much. They're not really that much more expensive than the other sapphire GMTs, but you know, they're definitely transitional. Definitely older. Twenty four hour wheel. It's got a whole little mechanism going on in there. Here we go. Now, taking the cannon pinion off, I just uh, pull it up just like that. You know, it's a date jumper wheel. A lot of times, being fast is actually good because, um, you know, sometimes when you're too careful, don't get me wrong, being careful is great. But sometimes when you are too careful, you can mess things up, you know? And sometimes when you're fast, it's just as good as being careful because you just get it done and you don't expose yourself to, um, you don't give yourself the time to make a mistake. You know, you touch the watch less when you work fast. So less opportunities to make uh, errors. Ooh, that ratchet wheel screw is broken. Oh, what a bummer. Bummer so bad. I don't know if you could see that. Screw head just broke right off. I unscrewed it. And remember, I gotta take the power off this before I take the mainspring out. So I wanted to Screw it back down. Um, but this is how you take the 
I don't want to screw it back down just so I didn't lose it and it just ripped right off. So here we go. This is how you take the power off the watch. I wanted to put the screw back down just in case, uh, you know, the ratchet wheel got, I didn't want the ratchet wheel to be loose when I take the power off. But that barely had any pressure on it. So, and it cracked. What you do to take the power off the watch, you wind the watch and what that does it lets you pull back the click and you keep a little pressure on the crown, but you let go of it. Unwinds the watch. Yeah, we'll have to see if I can take. Yeah, so I was able to get that broken screw out of the barrel arbor. Just like that. Take the barrel out. Now all I have to do is remove the cap jewel dial side put in the basket lock the spring clip back in take the gear train off gear train bridge off Boom. And pull the wheels out. And give them a quick look. They got oil on them, so we really gotta clean the watch first. And take the minute pinion bridge and the minute pinion out. And the watch is ready for pre-clean. So now my phone takes so many videos and pictures. My phone doesn't have very much storage on it. So that's going to be it for this video. I got all my parts in the parts basket. Downside parts in that basket. And I got the movement disassembled here. Still have a setting mechanism in there, but that's okay. I'll take that out for final clean. It's just a quick video showing you how to do a full disassembly very quickly. So these are them. Bridge side parts, dial side parts, got all your bridges here, and you got your main plate here. Ready for pre-clean? Uh, I do know I am going to need to replace that barrel arbor because here we have the broken piece, broken threads off. But that is for a later time probably in the next few hours. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little glimpse into whatever this life is. And if you enjoyed it, you can like and subscribe and uh, you can support this channel. 
If uh, you're into uh, cryptocurrency, um, you can send me some Algorand. I have uh, my Algo wallet address in my bio. I'll put it down in the description also. <laughs> but you know, that's a whole nother thing. You know, I know I got watches here that are really expensive, but it doesn't mean the money is always flowing. So anything you can do to help is uh, greatly appreciated. So thanks for watching and uh, have an awesome day. Thanks.